Hello, this is a preview for the open source photography course. It's not a full lesson, but it should give you an idea of what the video tutorials are like in the course itself. If you'd like to learn more about the course, or if you'd like to save 50% by pre-ordering, head over to rileybrandt.com slash lesson. In this image, I find the red light in the top left background here, I find it a little distracting and I'd like to get rid of it. Now if I tried the same method as before, where I duplicate the layer, just to keep things organized and have it on its own space, and I chose to rename it clone like I did before, and if I zoom in on the area, and if I choose, well we'll, say, we'll start with the heel brush just to see what it'll do. I could hold down control, set my source point, and come in and try to paint over it, and all it's going to do is it's going to start smearing that, and it won't look very good at all. I could try the clone tool, I'll go back. I think the clone tool will probably do a bit better job, but still not quite good enough. I could set my point there and start trying to paint things in, but in the end, it's really not uh, perfect. And I think someone would notice if they actually just looked in the background, you could see that you had uh, manipulated that. So I'm going to zoom in again. I'm just going to delete that. And I'm going to try a different method. What I want to do is I want to select an area near the red lights uh, and then put it on, on its own layer. So I can use the rectangular select tool. You just click and drag, select an area. Very similar to the marquee tool, if you're familiar with that. Um, you have the ellipse tool as well. Uh, you could uh, click and drag, make it the size you want, the shape you want, make a selection that way. There's also the free select tool. We can just start making as many clicks as you want and just have a bunch of straight lines, make a selection that way, and so on. There's a few more there, but I'm just gonna focus on these ones. So with the rectangular select tool, I'm gonna come by near the image here. I'm going to click and drag, and I mean that's plenty. As long as you have it maybe twice the size of what you want to cover up. Come up to the Layer menu, and here's that plugin, Layer via Copy. I'm going to click that. And if I go over here to my Layers panel, you can see that if I hide the layer below, it's just taken that area I selected and put it onto its own layer. Now with the Move tool, I'm going to move it to cover up uh, the red light. So I make sure I'm on that layer I just created. I'm going to click and drag up. And then if I want things to line up just right, I can use the arrow keys to start to nudge things in place just so everything lines up nicely. Now I've done a good job of covering up the red light, but obviously there's this other part that looks horrible. So I'm going to use the layer mask like we just covered before. I'm going to right click, add a layer mask. I want this top layer to be visible, so I'm going to leave it at white. I'm going to grab the paintbrush. I'm going to make sure it's on black because I want to remove parts of it, or hide really, and just start painting in and removing the unwanted areas, making it blend in with that bottom layer there. So I could probably go to about there, and that's gonna do a pretty good job. If I go back a step and look, already that looks much better than what the heel tool or the clone, ta uh, clone tool was able to do. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more again. So if I wanna get rid of this last little red light here, um, if I do the selection, I wanna make sure I'm on the layer below that actually has the pixels. If I'm still on this top layer, there's nothing to select. So make sure the bottom layer is visible, it's active. Select my rectangular select tool again. I'll select a spot just below it here. Again, go layer, layer via copy. I get a new layer with that on there. Grab my move tool, I'll just move it up. Fine tune it a bit with my arrow keys. And then just like before, right click, add a layer mask, keep it on white, make sure my brush is set to black. And then again, I'm just gonna paint over in that layer mask and make it blend in. So if I go back to here, now I've gotten rid of that distracting red light in the background. I didn't have to smear anything with the clone stamp or the heel tool.